Joseph Joseph D'Souza. Yes. He's into sound. Sound design okay. and voiceovers. Can you explain the term sound design? Excuse my ignorance. Sound design. Uh, primarily, every video needs to have some sound of some form of sound behind it. One is you can either be a composer. You know, you know to compose the music and things like that. And the other is you are creative enough to and you're sharp enough to understand what sound or what sound beds. Like suppose there is an ambience of uh, horror, so you can choose a horror track. Or there is nostalgia, so you can choose a like a uh, laid back track or something like that. So you can choose a track and then like for example if it's a night scene, you choose a dark track and then you choose a night effect like crickets or things like that, or the wind howling so that is sound design sound designing is putting layers to what is every day that you hear with your ears so any and make it as realistic as possible and then you blend everything together so that you get one source suppose the source is from uh, youtube the quality may not be good the other is from a cd or other is from a borrowed thing or something you just recorded so you need to balance all the sources and let it sound right enough and give it out as an output for the film so putting all this together it's creativity and it's fun and it just helps helps to know how aware you are of what the sounds are like so that exactly is sound design in short is goa the best place to do it probably bigger places like bombay mumbai yes would. yes obviously yeah but goa will give you a good mindset to do it luckily creativity are, is there creativity these are things where uh, see the rush and flow of work is a lot in bombay or in yeah. cities like yeah. in goa it's a little less but having said that like this is like a work from home thing it's like we you have your clients you can always correct anyway do it for me you just need a good computer and a good internet line which goa should is beginning to have now slowly yes your most challenging sound uh, production um uh, most challenging thing was um uh we had done for this thing of uh, it was like a short film called curtain 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 t e r t a n it's a tibetan what a tibetan film where it was an animation film where we had to put uh, uh, like uh, it had the whole design to be very philosophical it was about uh, like a in it's a gangster his son he the gangster wants to become his son to be a gangster but he becomes a saint he is like his uh, monks foretold that he will be a saint now to show all the violence and this though it was a demo kind of thing you know to bring all the violence and the music together and the effects of that was a little bit challenging because it is not like futuristic sound right it is like of the past and then plus it has to have a lot of aura since it's a philosophical feel you need to get that feel out how many years in the field and what training did self learned or self learned i see self learned uh, and 10 years in the field i also do voice overs voice overs so, yeah so in fact i shifted from sound design to voice overs because of i like communication so understanding the nuances of how you communicate with people and i think that's really important so how you get yourself heard you know it's not just talking yeah just because of a, you have a voice so that doesn't mean you can speak it out so i train i used to teach i i in fact before covid i was a visiting faculty at iit as so teach voice overs there and i like it i started it because uh, my son school when there was a kid who couldn't uh, give a presentation and he was a close family friend and i felt sad for him as well i trained him and i i felt joy that he could express himself then and i know that you know this life this life from now on will be very confident so now that is kind of giving me an edge and i love teaching kids because of that i used to work with cartoon network and then playing around with kids directing kids you know to do voice overs so that all just kind of is still bottled within me and i'm i love to help kids or even like adults to teach them voice overs and communication to get over that fear of you know communication voice over is a totally different world from public speaking and things yes. like that voice over is is a case of physics or yeah. public speaking uh see public speaking is you need to engage it's a long format voice overs is a short format and voice overs will have three sentences okay and in those three sentences you'll have a range of emotions public speaking you have one context and that's it you have to stay within that kind of emotion in voice over you can start with you know i'm sad 
then I'm getting some hope. And this is how I get the hope. So there are three variations. My voice has to choose the right word to bring out those nuances and throw it out. So that is a difference between voice. And the voiceover will be 60, 60 seconds, a minute, or 30 seconds. You need, you just need to get T20 that. cricket, T20 cricket. Yeah, something like that. But you need to like, you know, just get it bang on. Last question, some contact number, if someone wants to get in touch with you. For voiceovers? Yeah. Yeah, it's 9873-511-33. Thanks so much. You are at Santa Cruz now, Kalapura. Yes. Yeah. For now. Yeah, Viva Goa. Really nice yeah. to have you here. Yeah.